Hey GearFax friends, got a bit of a special one for you today. It is a Yamaha 5-string. This is the RBX375 and it feels massive in the hand. It's very nice, big, chunky, shiny and I think the sound is sort of along those same lines as well. Let's have a bit of a listen. I'm playing through a drum amp here so that there's no color in the amp or anything. What you're hearing now is the actual sound of the guitar. These are active pickups too. And of course, being a five string, we can go down to a low B. I think the active pickups really help to bring out the power in that low note. I've played the version with the passive pickups and you don't get anywhere near as much volume and clarity out of this low B string. Okay, let's check out each of the controls. Okay, so we've got a very responsive tone control there. That might be fun to do actually on the fly while you're playing. They've got a notch in the center too, so that you know when your tone is right on halfway. And volume controls for each pickup. The action on this particular one seems very low. I don't know if that's been modified by the previous owner or if it's just the way they get shipped. But you can hear quite a lot of fret noise. And personally, I like that. It's a bit of fret noise without having a real buzzy, irritating thing. And despite being a five string, it does feel pretty cruisy. It doesn't feel unnaturally large or difficult to play. angle look at it now and it is classic Yamaha styling it's a very nice looking guitar really solid utterly dependable machine heads a nice fluid sort of a neck even though it's lacquered on the back and there's our battery for the active pickups I would describe its overall personality as having a pretty bad attitude it would be a very good rock based guitar very good for metal grunge all those kinds of things that's not to say that it couldn't cope with the smoother stuff too it has very responsive tone and volume controls and the overall feel, like I said, is very fluid. So those kinds of sounds would be very much contingent on your kind of, or style of guitar playing. And as we take a really close look here, you can see how rock solid all these parts are. I like these slightly recessed machine head tips too. Like I said, classic Yamaha build quality. Okay, that's my review of the RBX375, everybody. I think that's about all I can tell you to give you an overall picture of how this excellent guitar sounds and performs. Thanks for liking, commenting, or subscribing. I look forward to seeing you next on the GearFax channel. And please share this video to anyone else you know who might be in the market for a really great five-string bass guitar because this fits that description. Yamaha RBX375.